Hello, this video is about karaoke and karaoke bars. I've been in a lot of karaoke bars over the years, uh, some in the UK and some here in Benidorm. And, and how different they are with the way they do it. Most bars just provide you with a microphone, a loudspeaker and a screen with the lyrics on and they call it a karaoke bar. Well, I'm going to show you something very different. I'm going to show you a karaoke bar here in Benidorm that really tries so hard to do things properly and accurately. And it's just amazing. The sound quality, everything is, is amazing and all very professional. They don't treat you like amateur karaoke singers. You're treated like professional performers and uh, the standard of equipment that you get to, uh, <laughs> to sing rubbish on, <laughs> which is what I sing, is just incredible. So without any further ado, I'm going to now go through a technical description. I'm not going to show you much video about the bar itself. You'll see that when you actually go. And I do hope you'll, uh, you'll come down here to Benidorm and, and give it a try out. But mostly I'm going to show you uh, diagrams and drawings showing you the layout of how everything is done. This is uh, the description then of what's going on in Voices. That's the name of the karaoke bar, Voices. It used to be called Shooters. Um, and there was Voices was a separate bar in Benidorm, but now they've combined. And what an incredible bar it is. They have uh, four regular DJs. Um, Jack, who has worked in uh, many bars around the area, and a lot of people know him. Ian Hartley, he's worked in a few of the bars as well. And, uh, and Brian Davis, I remember him from uh, years ago in Voices. He's a, a Welsh chappy. So. And finally, last but not least, we've got Tim Prince. And I think Tim must have worked in, uh, in this um, shooter's bar before. Uh, he, uh, he's an absolute genius on the keyboard. So on a Thursday, uh, he comes along with his keyboard. So not only is it uh, a karaoke bar with all the lyrics on screen, but he also seems to know a fantastic selection of songs. So if you want, you can, uh, instead of having the karaoke version, you can ask Tim to play it on his keyboard and accompany you. And, uh, and that is uh, really good. So let's, uh, let's draw, draw out uh, what the layout is. I'm going to draw it out now on screen. Now it's not exactly to scale because the, the screen here is a, a wide screen layout for this video, 16 to 9. And so I'm drawing it more to fit the screen than the exact layout because the, the bar itself is more square. It's not quite as oblong as I'm draw, drawing it, it's square. So we'll start out by drawing a rough outline then. we will say I'm doing it as an oblong to fit on the screen better. But to when you actually get in your voices, you will find it's a, it's a much squarer layout than this. But you'll get the general idea. I'll show you the layout of how everything works. It's just, just mind-blowing. First then, this is roughly the, the shape and size of the stage. So the, the main entrance door is up in the top right hand corner when you come into the bar. Uh, I'm not showing sure that. So you come in and the stage will be on your left. On your right as you come in is the bar, which is a very long bar, the full length of the building. And uh, right in front of you is uh, the DJ box. It's there that you get your karaoke slips to fill in and the songs you want to sing and hand them to the DJ. I'll just label these now so that you can understand it a bit better. There's the bar. There's the stage. And there's the DJ box. back 
of the stage uh, there's two loudspeakers which you can see here they're angled out slightly to minimize the chance of feedback and they're, they're, they're very good loudspeakers um, the, the column speakers so it gives it a degree of direction uh, a directional effect to keep the sound away from the stage and minimize feedback so you've got the two column speakers one on either side and they're stood on top of two uh, uh, bass woofers some two really big woofers and uh, you can use your own microphones at the back of the stage there's a number of sockets XLR sockets so if you have your, your own microphone uh, and you prefer to use that you're encouraged to take it simply plug it in on one of the XLR leads that they provide and use your own microphone in the corners of the stage uh, not the stage in the corners of the bar we've got two standard speakers as opposed to the column speakers on the stage two standard speakers um, to help fill the room with sound the bar also provides um, uh, the wireless microphones if you don't have your own of course halfway up the bar uh, on either side there's two more loudspeakers to fill in the sound so you get really good coverage the whole bar is really well filled with sound it's not loud they don't have it at a loud level it's uh, it's very pleasant but the room is well filled with sound using really high quality loudspeakers uh, for when you're singing on stage. To add that really professional touch in front of the stage, high up, uh, pointing back at, uh, at you when you're on the stage, are monitor speakers. Because with the, with the, the very high quality speakers in use and the directional effect, uh, to keep the sound away from you to minimize feedback uh, you might not clearly hear yourself your vocals when you're singing so to make sure that you can really hear yourself and exactly how well you sound or in my, my case how bad you sound there's uh, these two speakers in front of the stage monitor speakers sending the sound back to you Now, of course, we have the, the uh, TV screens themselves. There's two large TV screens uh, above the bar uh, where you can see the lyrics for the uh, karaoke song you're singing. And not only do the screens, all the screens in the place display the lyrics, they also have a, a running uh, ticker type display along the bottom of the screens, giving you the singer's order. So when you go in, you can see exactly how many people uh, are waiting to sing. And uh, when you uh, put a song request in, your name goes up. And, uh, and so the order is very fair because you see it uh, uh, as you enter your song request. You go to the end of the queue and uh, you can see your name coming up towards the front. And so you know exactly when you're going to sing. If you want to go to the, uh, the toilet or go for a pint, you can look on the screen and see how long you've got before it's your turn to sing. There are two more TV screens um, on either side of the stage facing back towards uh, your audience so they can uh, see uh, again the, uh, the singer's order, how long it is uh, before they have to get up to sing and of course see the lyrics of the songs you're singing. Then of course there is yet another uh, large screen in front of the stage uh, facing you when you're on stage so that you can see the lyrics and, uh, and, and <laughs> I'm going to say sing. In my case it isn't but you've got this screen in front of you. So there's no shortage at all of TV monitor screens um, so that you can uh, sing and the audience can join in. Absolutely incredible. Five screens. There's also a, a TV camera in the middle of the room pointing down towards the stage because 
when the, the bar is up and running, during the it starts at about four o'clock in the afternoon local time here in Spain. Um, it's streamed on YouTube, so you can see the entire show, see people getting up on stage and singing, all streamed live over YouTube. You just have to go on YouTube and search for Shooters Voices Karaoke Bar. If you want to go to the, the bar and you don't know where it is, it's very straightforward. You go up the square, what they call the English square where all the discos are, continue up the square and on the left there is uh, the Orange Hotel. So you continue up the square past the Orange Hotel and then turn left. This is a, a rough map of the area. Um, the square, Avenida de Mallorca, Mallorca. Um, it's in the lower right hand area of this map. So you come up that and, uh, and turn left where you can see the zebra crossing to go up Cali Ibiza. Here's some arrows indicating your path you take. Up the square, turn left, and you can see the last arrow pointing at the entrance to Voices. And this is what the entrance to Voices looks like. So if you see that, you found it. There's a the front door on the right there. Thank you. 